Before we get into this video, many of the terms I use may be foreign to you. I've put a link in the description for a video explaining exactly what Tier 2 and Tier 3 are. Please give it a look to make sure you fully understand the video, thank you. Moving on, there have been a lot of recent exciting releases lately for the Tier 2 and Tier 3 scene, and even some drama. This includes Blizzard recently releasing Contenders skins to live servers, the Trials of Champions tournament, and even some manager controversy, which we are going to get right into with a video posted recently this past week by Secret, the past manager most notably for Lunaris. While I do agree that a manager's job is extremely fundamental to the success of a team, the post was not met with the acceptance that it deserved. A contenders player by the name of Juby responded in a quote, except most of them are terrible at doing their small amount of tasks and the players usually have to compensate. Now this post definitely sparked some controversy almost immediately with other words of managers being labeled subhuman which is truly too far. However, Juby isn't necessarily wrong either. There are many managers that I have worked with in the scene, and they are very hit or miss. From an outside view, it is very difficult to see what managers do differently from the rest other than just book scrims. In reality, some managers really do just book scrims. More so, there are managers that do struggle to find scrims that match the team's potential that they are looking for, which give players the impression of you had one job and you can't even do that. However, I ask these players, have you ever tried to book scrims? I have. It sucks. While currently, a good manager to me is one that books scrims effectively and efficiently, as well as makes sure everything is organized, I don't think that should be considered normal anymore. I believe that we should be pushing for a higher standard and demanding an even more crucial role out of our managers. And before I get any backlash in the comment section, hear me out first. Blizzard is finally doing their part in advertising contenders in the game itself. Just this past Thursday, on October 15th of 2020, just by logging in, players received a contenders Genji skin on live servers. While this is just the start of what Blizzard should be doing for the scene, it is not enough. Truly, what makes people want to watch Overwatch League over contenders? Some say the level of play or just the personality some players have. I believe that it is not the level of play. It is the content, the rivalries, the underdogs, the backstories, the friendships, the trash talk on Twitter. That's what people want to watch, not some pub stomps of one team versus the other. While that is high level play, there's no meaning behind that. Hence, if you can see what I'm talking about, put it like this. Blizzard can only do so much. They are starting to look at the tier 2 and tier 3 scene, but they will not look much at it if the viewers are not retained. Content is what retains viewers in the first place. Before we didn't have people watching, but now we do. Blizzard is doing their part and it is now time that we do ours. So. We move on to the point of this video. This is a call to our managers. If our managers truly want to be deemed good and become even more of an asset to our teams, we need to raise our standards. This doesn't truly even mean that one manager is doing one job either. 
This could be a management team or anything that works on a team by team basis. But how should managers go about that? Our first step would include streamer partnerships with big organizations. So many organizations sign a streamer and then all that they do is make their graphics and slap a logo on their screen. That is just an inefficient use of their resources. They should do something with those streamers instead of just wasting the resource they have. I mean, look at Florida Mayhem with J3 and Samito. They just did a meta review like I do, but it brought in tons of viewers and tons of impressions to their org. Just take from Overwatch so you can put it into contenders and we start having a better scene. Step two would possibly include interviews of players before big matches. For example, interview Noxious before a big game against me and vice versa. Put those interviews on Twitter and before the game on the broadcast. Then fans will learn, wow, Noxious and Paz are good friends and are going to battle for the win. I now have a purpose to watch that game. It has something on the line. To bring this video to a close, I have a few parting statements. To all the managers and future managers watching this video, thank you. You make the environment of a team much more focused and organized and it helps coaches as well as players focus on improvement. However, I challenge you to fully immerse yourself in your role as a manager. Tier 2 and Tier 3 now have eyes on them, but not for long. In order for us to retain viewership, rivalries must be made. Games must have something on the line. It has to be on you to make everything more enjoyable. The world could always use more heroes, and right now, Tier 2 and Tier 3 need managers the most. Do you have what it takes to make an impact on the future of Overwatch Esports? If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content like this in the future, please like, subscribe, and give me a comment down below. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4pm Eastern as well, link in description. But until next time, I've got a peace out and paz out, I'll see you in the next one.